Hello, this is Jahara with another episode of In the Line of Wire. This is the new series. Uh, we've had a long break, but hopefully we'll become more regular now. Um, as part of this new series, I've done three videos of three very intelligent women that I met at the World Islamic Economic Forum in Astana, Kazakhstan. And they're in two different areas, and I thought it'd be good to interview them and bring their message to you. So the first in the series is a lady, a Malaysian lady. Her name is Ms. Darawati Hussain. She is uh, the CEO of a venture capital firm called CMB, Venture Capital and Private Equity. And she manages the fund. So I thought that's quite interesting. First of all, VC funding is not very well known in Pakistan. And uh, secondly, all of us have been studying the Malaysian example and trying to understand how the government had got involved and where the private sector was playing a role. So I talked to Dharavati in Astana and here's what she had to say. I've been kindly asked to talk about what we do in Malaysia in terms of venture funding and where we are in Malaysia in terms of trying to deal with innovation and get SMEs to be more innovative. Venture capital is relatively new in Malaysia. It's around 3 billion US dollars and most of that funding comes from the government. And that supplements quite a comprehensive funding assistance program which already exists through grants and soft loans. However, what we found over the past 10 years is that even though the government has pumped in a lot of money in terms of grants and soft loans, there hasn't been those kind of companies coming through which, which companies like us, which are venture firms, can take them to the next level. And, and there's been a lot of studies about why, why those, that, that hasn't worked. And part of it has been those KPIs have not been set very clearly. So those things are being addressed. But at the same time, I think the government wants the private sector to step up. So companies are now um, going to be less reliant on, on, on handouts from government in terms of funding assistance. So, so in that sense, how the government has tried to, to disperse funding to, to the economy is to target certain sectors which they think they need to promote to allow Malaysia to remain competitive in, 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 in this current environment. So things like ICT, media and uh, biotech, medical devices, um, agriculture. So those are targeted sector areas and any financial resources which the government has allocated will be directed to those sectors. And how the private sector works with them is that rather than just giving grants and uh, soft loans right now, what they do is they outsource to private venture capital firms as they, you know, I think after learning through that um, banks and grants don't provide the kind of assistance that maybe entrepreneurs need right now, which is kind of mentorship, uh, a little bit more strategic guidance, um, access to, to a wider network than what they already have. And uh, I, I think it's well known that venture capital is a form of uh, smart capital. They don't just put money into your business, they're there to help nurture the entrepreneur and, and take it to the next, uh, next level. So that was Narawati Hussain. And as you heard from her, 80% of the venture capital funding in Malaysia is done by the government. But slowly the uh, private sector is getting involved and hopefully that's going to increase. There are some lessons that we can learn from the Malaysian example and hopefully try some of them out here in Pakistan without making the same mistakes. This is Jahara signing off from another episode of In the Line of Wire.